Easy G is with us. Easy G is. Oh, yeah, uh, I want to tell you something funny. Yes. Yeah, the new new listener the uh, 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 last couple of months, the uh, somebody you've never met, the king of all farts. I just listened to your show. Now, that is your father, correct? Right. The king of all farts. Now, does he know that you call him that, the king of yes, all farts? Yes, he thinks it's funny. He does, okay. He says your show is pretty funny. Oh, he enjoys the program. Yes. Well, very nice. He heard, he heard me on the radio last week. Oh, very good. I don't think he's listening right now because we usually have dinner with the uh, with the wife right now. The wife? Yep. We're you, around 5 o'clock. Your, your mother? Yes. Okay. Now, why do you call her the wife? I'm just being funny. Oh, okay. Being coy. Oh, you're being coy again, are you? <laughs> well, 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 Easy G. You're so coy. There you go. I got a new <laughs> listener out there. Now, have you been on the morning show yet this week? Uh, no, I tend to come on Friday because Matt, I mean, yeah, Matt. Yeah, Matt. <laughs> Peter says the yeah, only uh, uh, person coming on so far is uh, Chrissy and the usual Daryl. And the usual Daryl, yes. Last week they had a full house, though. So. Right. Well, last week he told you, stay away. Uh, no, he didn't tell me to stay away. He just oh. said he had full house, though. He right. Peter Fleming on. He had a uh, full house. So, so, but that was a nice way of saying stay away. Yeah, is what you're saying. Like that. Yeah, he's be, like trying to politely say, no, Easy G. That's Your only, services aren't needed that there's day. There's only so many uh, microphones. Now. There are only so many microphones. How did you feel about that when he said that to you? Were you bitter? No, that's all right. Did you kind of feel like, uh, you know, uh, like... Uh, why don't you ever bring me a muffin? No. That's a callback, of course, to uh, something we were uh, discussing earlier. Yeah. Briefly. Yes. That yes. was funny. Uh, have you ever demanded uh, food from uh, Peter White? No, I have not. Yes. Uh, do you ever wish that there was catering? Uh, it's not really in the budget. No, probably not. Right. Yeah. Do you ever fantasize about, like, uh, moving up to, like, a really, uh, like, a big-time show, like maybe the Howard Stern show where you show up and there's uh, catering and you can have like a, it's like being at a hotel, the continental breakfast. You can have oh, a, really? a a donut or a muffin <laughs> or a bagel or something oh, really? before so, you go on the show. Have you ever fantasized about being on the Howard Stern show? I'm not saying I have. I'm just wondering if, no, if you've not, ever fantasized about it. No, not really. Is there free food over there? I, I believe so. I believe they actually feed you and give you a water uh, when you enter. Wow. Yes. Wow. Who do you, are, are you a fan of Howard Stern or who do you uh, listen to, Easy G? Well, I listen to the programs here and I listen to, uh, sometimes I listen to like Howie Carr guy. That, that Howie Carr guy, and he's my guy competitor now. in this that, market. And a new guy now. There's a new guy. Yeah, that sports guy now. I, li- I like hearing him. About, uh, um, that new guy now, the raspy voice there. Scott Farrell? Yeah, that new girl, Amy, there. And that. Well, well, Scott Farrell's not new. Well, he's new to me. New so. to you, yes. New to you. Am I the one who uh, introduced you to him, EZG? Not no, literally, I, I, but, no, I, I kind of just listened to him by mistake. It was just on the oh, air. And right. Sometimes I listen to that 107.7, that Conquer station. I used to listen to it all the time when I was living in Conquer. Oh, right. And then sometimes I listen to the, um, um, is it, I don't know if it's TV anymore, so <laughs> I listen to WEI a lot, and then they, they turn it over to the CBS Sports Radio. They used to have ESPN Radio, but they don't have that anymore. So. Mm. Or then they get that old lady from 2 a.m. to 6 there, sometimes when they're not sleeping well. The, uh, Amy Lawrence? Yeah, she's good, too. Yeah. yeah. You don't really have a lot. You don't hear a lot of uh, women do sports these days. Who's the uh, uh, gentleman? Right. How do you feel about that, Easy G, when, a, fine. when you hear a woman talking about sports? You're That's okay fine. with it? She likes football. Okay. I'm a little bot. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Uh, no, I'm not. I go, no, I, think- I go to a friend's house and watch some football games. So. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, hello to uh, Fred Bonig, who rejoins us in the new uh, Facebook live feed. Fred Bonig, of course, from the Daily Ripple and uh, Ripple Radio. It's, it's nicer to look at the uh, Patriots game on HD than listening to it on the radio. Oh, right. Yeah. I uh, seems to me that, like... I mean, the radio is fine, but... Like, when I was a kid, TV, like... TV can be a treat sometimes. Like, you know, that was like something grandfathers did, like listening to, like, baseball games on the AM radio with that annoying whistle sound that AM radio used to make and all that. I mean, AM radio still exists, but I think they finally solved the annoying sound it would make. It was funny because the... Uh, I was sleeping the best last night, so I kept uh, dozing off and on, and the rest of game started at 7 and then until 1 a.m. Oh, wow. It was a six-hour game. How many innings was that? Fifteen innings. That that just happened recently. Yeah, overnight. 
<laughs> Wait, that just happened last night? Yeah, the game started at 7 o'clock, and the game ended at 1. Wow, because wasn't there 15 innings? Because wasn't there another game recently that went like a ridiculous, like it was maybe the longest baseball game? Yeah, it was in World Series forever? game. No, no, no. 18 no. innings. Really? Yeah, it was like 3 in the morning. But it was the World Series? Yeah. Oh, okay. The Red Sox lost one to nothing, but then they wow. came back and won the whole thing. Jeez. That's a long game. Yeah. Well, I don't. I think baseball is boring anyway, even nine innings. I can't imagine sitting through 18 innings. <laughs> My goodness, easy G. They set a record, though, for most pitchers, the Red Sox. So. Cool, so the... I remember hearing that. Yes, I remember hearing that. But they won't be able to do that next year because next year they only allowed to bring out three minor leaguers. This year they're going to bring out 15. So. Easy G, I have a question for you. This might uh, get into the zone of uh, theology, uh, but uh, I know that you're a, a, a good uh, Christian man. I try to be. And I'm, I'm not trying to rouse uh, Father Bruno or anything, but... Yeah, we have surely mentioned him a lot. I had one of these dreams, Easy G, where I was... Uh, uh, this is 100% true, by the way. Oh, okay. This just happened last night, well, this morning when I woke up. All right. I had one of these dreams where... Uh, I felt an invisible presence actually physically pushing me while in bed. And that's how I woke up. I woke up to someone, like, shoving me and messing with me physically. And it was very, very vis vivid. And it's happened to me before. I was going to say something, but I don't know if I should. <laughs> right. The, and I, there, there was nobody in the bed with me, by the way. Oh, all right. It was just me. Okay. But, uh, but, I felt, <laughs> but I felt someone push on me. Aggressively, really, and I like woke up, and something? I woke up very upset. Like well, that's the thing. When this happens, easy. There wasn't any voice behind it, was it? No, but I felt somebody pushing on me. It wasn't one of your cats, was it? No. Now this has only happened to me a few times over the course of my life, but when it happens, I wake up feeling like that was real, and I was just, and I am being a. I'm, this isn't a joke, by the way. This is this is 100% legit. I wake up from an experience like that feeling like that was real. Something was just here messing with me. What do you think, EZG? Yeah, probably true. You believe in that? Could be. Because I'm not much, you know, I'm agnostic and whatever, but... Uh, Could be, huh? So, but, uh, but, I know, I have the wildest dreams, too. But I don't even remember any of them right now. But, but I, man, but I wake up feeling somebody physically shoving me. And like I said, it's only happened to me a handful of times, but when it does, like, it sticks with me. It sticks with me to the point where I'm not looking forward to dozing off tonight because I don't want it. But it's never happened to me twice in a row. Oh, all right. But I'm like, tonight I'm going to be like, I'm going to have to drink even more Red Bull uh, because I'm not going to want to go to sleep. I have some pretty crazy dreams, too. They don't make any sense either. But I don't think dreams are supposed to make sense. No, they usually don't. Um, have you ever had the the sleep paralysis thing where you um, you feel like you're awake and someone is like standing over you or something? Like you can't see them, but you feel them. Like you feel somebody in the room with you, no. and you can't do anything and you can't move. And they call it sleep paralysis because you can't move. And th that's kind of how science explains it. It's a form of when you're sort of caught in that zone between being awake and asleep. And that's when you're vulnerable to experiencing something like that. And then of course there are others who say, well, no, this actually, there is something more going on there and it's nothing good. And yes, you actually are being visited by a spiritual entity. Cause I've had that happen a few times as really? well. Yes. Wow. That hasn't happened to me uh, in quite some, that probably hasn't happened to me in more than a decade. But when it happened, it was pretty upsetting. But I feel like it's it's kind of a similar thing in that, like, the sleep paralysis thing, it seems so real when it's happening. But even that doesn't seem as real as, you know, I'm lying there in bed sound asleep, and all of a sudden somebody is physically shoving me, somebody who is inv invisible, somebody I can't see, but somebody is physically shoving me awake. And, and, I, and I feel like I'm in danger and and I wake up and there's nobody there and I'm like, what the hell was that? Easy G, I think you're gonna fall asleep right now. But uh, yeah, it freaks me out, dude. Like I'm not even kidding. I am genuinely uh, upset by it. Yeah, you ever have a dream and then wake up and then say, time to go back to the dream? Then go back to it. I've had that happen. Probably not much. That's weird. Yeah, 
Well, what sucks is when you wake up from a, like a really nice dream, if you know what I mean, and you want to go back to that, and uh, the, your next dream is nothing like the dream you woke up from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's terrible. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. My dreams are usually very confusing and strange anyway, though. Yeah, most of mine are, too. They're yes. Well, fun. I think they're supposed to be. Some people, it's weird. Like, some people talk about these dreams they have, and they, like, uh, they're able to turn them into very, uh, like, they'll tell you about their dreams, and they're able to, to uh, repeat their dreams in, in, in this very concise way as though they're just like a story. Like, they're just telling you a story, and it's all very logical and makes sense. But it was a dream that they had. And I, I, I always marvel at that because my dreams are so strange and random, and they never make any sense at all to the point where, like, sometimes... Like, a random character will show up in a dream that I'm having that I haven't seen since I was, like, five years old or something. You know, like, somebody I never even think about just pops into a dream. Sometimes people morph into other people, like, and I'm not really sure exactly who they are. Like, sometimes there might be someone in my dream who's actually a composite of of other people I know, and I'm not exactly sure who they Boy, are. Boy, I'm awful confused. <laughs> What's that? I'm very confused. You're very con- Well, my dreams are very confusing, Easy G. You're going a mile a minute. But according to uh, Van Halen, <laughs> that's what dreams are made of. Oh, as Debbie Gibson would say, only in my dreams. Yes, yes. Only in her dreams. Are you a big Debbie Gibson fan? I've, I've had a dream or two about her, yes. Did you ever see her live in concert like I did? No. Oh, God, you saw Debbie Gibson live? Yeah, I did. Oh, no, she's going to be dead soon. Oh, no. I've He's seen he... a lot of artists live. He... You have? Yeah. Oh, they're all going to be dead soon. If, the man of a coffee alive. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> if, oh no! If you're Many just, times. if you're just tuning in, that's a call back to an earlier discussion. We have established that Easy G is the kiss of death. <laughs> oh no! Because everyone he goes to see live ends up dead. I see her live more than anybody. I've seen. Oh no! <laughs> Does she know this? Oh, uh, no, don't, don't, I hope she's not listening. <laughs> I hope not too. I mean, I kind of. But hope then again, is. you never know who's listening to this crazy show. You just never does crazy show. I think this show is. Are you are you just saying it's a crazy show because of my terrible dream that I had? Oh, all these shows are a little bit crazy. Yeah, they have a little edge to them. I don't know what to make of it, Easy G. It's so much more vivid, like feeling like someone physically shoving me. It's so much more vivid than any other kind of dream I've ever had. Oh, boy. I find it hard to believe that there wasn't... Like, I don't even believe in any of it, really. And yet, I really think that there was some sort of entity there messing oh with boy. me. Well, what Father Bruno would say. Father Bruno? I know what Father Bruno would say. I don't know if he's listening. But uh, I, he probably would say, Matt, to that is why you need to get right with the Jesus. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. You need to get a ride to with the Jesus, and then you won't have these dreams and vote for a Donald Trump. Oh, yeah. oh man. I'm genuinely upset. I, I don't know what to do. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. That may be the last time I ever sleep in my entire life, EZG. Oh, boy, that'd be bad. That may be the last time. Did you hear about that guy that died? All he ate was like um, two different kind of foods, french fries, and um, it was something else, and he died. I mean, it was like malnutrition. Well, if all you eat is French fries and it one other one thing, other then yeah, that's that doesn't surprise me. I didn't hear about that, but I'm not surprised you that he that's died. Really true. Oh, I, I I I would not be shocked by that. I mean, I would imagine that would lead to health complications. That could lead to death if all you eat is two things: it French fries and something else. Yeah, yeah. we're getting uh we're getting a call. Let's oh boy, what's his father Bruno? It could be. Hi, welcome to Matt Connerton Unleashed. Who's this? Hey, Matt Scumpy. How are you doing? Jeff, oh, Scumpy. Jeff Scumpy Lorenz. How are you, sir? Hi. Hello, Easy G. Hey. Hey, how's your wife doing? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Yeah, that's the thing I was calling. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to get I had to, I had to find these protein shakes for her. She just got out of the hospital today. All right. I'm playing Scumpy Nurse. Very nice. I go to Market Basket. I got the wrong ones, of course. <laughs> so then I called Hannaford. So I went to Hannaford and I get the right ones. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. Wow! And she calls me while I'm in the I'm in the store. She says you got to get home right away. I have to get to the bathroom. She can't even she can't even get up by on her own. It's, it's oh horrible, wow! But. So she just just to clarify for everyone. So she just had surgery, correct? She did. She had eighty five percent of her stomach taken out. Eighty five percent. 
She can only drink like a like a, a shot of water, a shot of juice at a time. Everything's got to be sugar free. And tomorrow she's going to be able to start on a new thing where she she can do like you know four or five ounces protein drinks and and uh, all kinds of you know well jellos, sugar free jello, sugar free pudding, you know. So it's crazy. She's not going to be able to eat regular food for probably another week. So I, I don't I don't she's know. Going to be a wave. She's going to, she's going to weigh about like a hundred and twenty pounds when she's done. Oh my god! So I, I I don't know how much you want to say about it, Scumpy. I don't want to be in, invasive, but I uh, but do you want to say why she had to have this uh, surgery done? No, I, not really. Okay. You know, it's personal stuff. Uh, yeah. She she has fibromyalgia. She has some other issues. And uh, okay. Wow. So. Yeah, you know, we'll keep it to the personal level and, you know. That's fine. But that's what I'm doing. That's why I wasn't on the morning show this morning. Yeah, yeah. Take care of my girl. Yeah, no, so, that uh, that makes sense. That's more important. <laughs> than the You're fullness of the studio. Wow, yeah. Well, I hope that, uh, you know, we'll send her some uh, positive energy and whatnot. Jeez. Uh, yeah, send her some love. Uh, play some heavy metal for her. She loves it. You know, it's funny. They had this thing. They said... Uh, before she went into surgery, that one of the questions, did you have any metal, any pins or anything else? And I go, and I was in there, I said, no, she has heavy metal in her blood. <laughs> and she made the, the, the horn sign. She goes, yeah. The, the surgeon oh. laughed like, oh, it was great. <laughs> oh, very good. You know, I like the heavy metal music, uh, uh, Scumpy, and I, I don't, I'm, I'm wondering if that's why, I, I'm wondering if by listening to that, I may have uh, conjured something, and that's why I was uh, uh, violently awoken this morning. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. But the heavy metal, you know, her, her license plate says gut metal. Yeah. Instead of gut milk. Right, metal. right. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah, she's, uh, yeah, she's a big fan of the metal, and uh, she's doing okay. Why yeah. She, why she married you? So far. I'm doing okay, I'm, you know. Oh, I say she's a fan of the metal. That's vacation, why she... But it's, it's, it's not much of a vacation, you know, but it, it is. <laughs> True. It's all, it's all for the good for her, so. I love her. I love her dearly, and everything's uh, it's going to be okay. The surgery went good, and uh, I'm happy about it. And I just got to nurse her for a few days, and uh, when she can start doing her own stuff, great. Yeah, yeah. Well, very nice. Uh, so what? Uh, oh, hello to uh, DJ Midas, host of Late Night Delight in the Facebook Live Chat. So what's? Uh, give us an update, Scumpy, on uh, the music, and uh, I'm actually more curious about the acting at this point because that sounds like it's like you got a lot going on with that. And we haven't talked in a yeah, while. Yeah, I got uh, the, the the September 28th and 29th, I got a couple of shoots I got to do. Wow. Uh, and they were looking for extras, too, Matt. Yeah, you'd be welcome. <laughs> oh, I wanted to go. That's interesting. Now, now what I is... A, I only got a couple of scenes, uh, but uh, I do a lot. Well, well, t tell us what it is. What What is this for? Well, it's called Fair Fight. Fair and Fight. It's a... It's, it's a it's like a fair, like the the World Fair. It's like a fair in like the 1906. You know the old fairs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and actually, I end up in a beer tent, and you got the old wooden barrels and drinking beer, and I and I start some trouble, and then I start a fight, and we start throwing people around, and uh, I don't know. It's <laughs> it's basically it's 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 two um, mill owners. You know they own the the old mill buildings and stuff and mm -hmm. and they're rivals and i work for one and and all the other people show up for the other one you know and it's yeah it's yeah, i don't know I, i'll let you know when it comes out it's, it's hard to really you know say sure sure that's yeah, good stuff and then um there, there's also a series that you're involved in right that's what it is. It, it comes off the movie uh, oh. Dinner Party. Oh, okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Where, where one of the guys basically set fire to one of the other guy's bills, and then a thing blew up, and they're trying to buy it and insurance stuff. It's all. It's it's a whole. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Very it's nice. A real good story. Real good story. So they they did the movie, and now they're going to do. Uh, I don't know. I think it's like six episodes. Yeah. Of the series after. You know, kind of leading in to see everything that happened in after. Yeah, now now kind of cool. Now, so the movie is that available now? It's not yet. It should oh. be on Amazon Prime any day. I don't know when, but it's oh, supposed good. To be on there. Very nice. It might be now. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, yeah. Be. Last last that I looked, it wasn't uh, on there yet. 
But uh, yeah, I'm dying and to see it. Of course, the other one, Chance. I was, I was just a stunt guy there. Chance, that should be on there, no? Oh, really? Oh, okay. Very cool. Good, good. That's a full line. And then the band, uh, we're making a compilation album. Actually, we got we got five songs now. They all kind of go together for a story. It's 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 looking good. Great. I got to write some lyrics though. Yeah. A lot of lyrics. Yeah, yeah. I got three of them done. I, I got two, and uh, they're just throwing them in me. Oh, boy. <laughs> cool. I'll well, get it done. Yeah, yeah. So, so, you know, a couple of weeks. So as soon as my wife's better, uh, it'll yeah. be good. Yeah. I'll get back in action. And I'll stop down. You know, we'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah, fantastic. All right, Scumpy. But I love you guys. Keep keep rocking on, and uh, EZG, keep rocking on, man. All righty. <laughs> All right, Scumpy. Thank you All for right, the call, peace. my friend. Peace, peace, guys. All right, bye-bye. All right, the great uh, Jeff Scumpy Lorenz. That was not Father Bruno. That was not Father Bruno, no. So, I don't know. I was hoping Father Bruno would call. I, I could actually, I would call. I actually could use some advice. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Easy G, you're a man of God. What should I do? Should I should I say a prayer before I go to sleep? I wouldn't hurt anybody. No, you're right. It wouldn't. Should I, uh, should I get some holy water and uh, splash it on me? I mean, it'll get the bed a little bit wet, but... Yeah, I don't know if it'd be holy water though. Right. I mean, I uh-huh. can you get that at like Hannaford or something? How does that uh, work? Probably not. No. Oh. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know what to do. A prayer would be good. Oh, you think a prayer? Yeah, definitely. What should I say in the prayer? Help me, help me write something. So what? What should I? Who should I address it to? Because sometimes now, see, I haven't done this since I was a kid. Uh, you know, when I went to Catholic school, you address like, it to the good Lord. Okay, but sometimes though, like. Sometimes people address it to the Lord, who, you know, obviously is Jesus, but sometimes people address it to God. Either, well, either way. I guess it, they're one and the same, either right? Way, but, yeah, he'll, he'll get the message. But, right, because I just don't want, like, I just don't want to be sending even, it to even the Jenny wrong. can say a good word for you. I just, don't, I just don't want it to end up in, I don't want it to end up in some spiritual spam folder. No, it'll, it'll get up there. You know, okay, it'll get up there, all right. So what should I... So should I be like, <laughs> what if I include them both? I, I could oh, be that like, wouldn't hurt anybody. I could be like, dear Lord <laughs> or God? Or should I be like, dear Lord and or God? Oh, I like that. I'm going to do the and or. All right. I want to cover all the bases. This is important to me, EZG. So I'll be like, dear Lord and, oh, wait, should I uh, clasp my hands or just put my hands together when I, uh, what, what do you uh, recommend? Doesn't, doesn't matter? Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Okay. I'm going to clasp them. I'm more, I seem to do that. <laughs> okay. I seem to do that uh, just naturally. Um, okay, so should I say something like, dear Lord and or God? No, I should put God first because he's, he's old. He has seniority, right? Okay. So I'll be like, <laughs> dear, uh, dear God and or Lord. Um, should I say something like, I'm going to go to sleep now. Could you, uh, do me a solid? I know we don't talk much, <laughs> but I'm kind of would love it if like some weird demon isn't trying to do stuff to me in my sleep yeah there you go do you think that's too casual yeah that's good you don't think i need to like formalize it a little bit because honestly he and i have not talked should, should i be more like um uh, dear uh god and or <laughs> lord uh if i might trouble you um could you uh prevent Please, yeah, uh, your hol- your holiness, <laughs> um, could you prevent or obstruct any uh, invisible uh, entities from uh, descending upon me and uh, uh, attempting to uh, be violative toward me uh, during my snooze? Snooze is not a very, I guess I can just say rest. Yeah, rest. Uh, during my rest period, my yeah. rest period. Yeah, there you go. Uh, while I'm unconscious, uh, <laughs> if you don't mind, uh, yours truly, uh, should I say my full name? I think he knows your name. He knows all the hairs in your head, as they say. Yeah, I know, but th- there's more than one Matt Connerton because there's also my uncle. He's also Matt Connerton. I-, I think he knows who you are. 
Because I could. He say, knows like, all his God's children, as they say. He knows all of God. What if he doesn't consider me? Here's the thing. I know that they say like you can always come back to God, and it's never too late and whatnot. But Isn't that what Father Bruno says. Yeah, that is, yes. He Father says, I can, I can, uh, it's not too late to, for me to get to right with the Jesus. Yeah, you're pretty good about that. But what if, uh, what if, uh, I mean, well, it is, it's kind of fun to talk that way. But what, it is, what, it is funny. what if, um, I don't know, like, what if he's mad at me about something and I just, no, don't, you'll you know, be fine. I mean, he might be, uh, like, I might be praying to him and he might be thinking, like, uh, uh, you know, Matt, uh, your grandfather warned you about, you know, what not to do and you know it might affect your sight in the future and you kept doing it when you were a kid oh. so uh i don't think we're gonna <laughs> no he'll be fine i don't think we're gonna help you out god here. is merciful i mean god is mercy okay i but... ever find all our all our damn all our darn sinners right father mo would say right so you think so you're confident that if i pray it couldn't hurt nobody. Because according to MC Hammer, we've got to pray just to make it today. Right. That's why we pray. Yeah. Pray. Um, so you're confident that it's not too late. And if it, I... Oh, yeah. It never hurts. Okay. All right. I just... Um, you don't feel too confident. Do I need to be specific about... Because I always kind of feel like there's two versions of God. Like, like New Testament God seems like a really nice dude. But Old Testament God seems kind of mean. So how do I know I'm talking to, like, what if I'm catching him on a bad day and he's feeling like Old Testament God and I'm looking for help and instead he sends a plague or some locusts? No, I don't think he's going to send a plague or locusts. I don't think he will either. But I think you're thinking about it too much. I might just, be. Just, you think just, I'm overthinking it. Just do it. I don't want to. Like Nike would say. Like. Because I'll be honest with you, if I had, like, let's say I had to choose <laughs> between having some demonic entity waking me up violently or having locusts, I, I might just stick with the demonic entity, is what I'm saying, ECG. <laughs> That's why I'm worried about this backfiring me. <laughs> I'm sorry if my the theological quandary is keeping you awake. I'm sorry. But, uh, but I rely, as a, as a man of, of God yourself, I, I rely I on, your, uh, on your counsel and advice in these matters. I try. If Father Bruno can't help us, uh, what fine. would you do, EZG? I'd do the same thing. You so you'd say a prayer. So what would you say to uh, to uh, I, God I'd and or the Lord? About the same way you're doing it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You think that's pretty good? Yeah, I, I wouldn't give my name though, because he knows who I am. You wouldn't give your name. So uh, Rocky Huber in the Facebook live chat says, "I pray to Baby Jesus. Can't go wrong that way." LOL. I'm reminded of. Uh, and he might. This might be what he's referencing. The scene in uh, what's the Will Ferrell movie where he's a race car driver? Um, oh, I don't remember. Sorry. <laughs> with the, uh, I'm going to see if I can find it real quick. Maybe someone in the Facebook live chat knows offhand. No, there's there's the, there's the scene. It's really it's really funny. Where um, oh Ricky Bobby, that's what it is. Oh hello to uh, Tony Petrello who uh, rejoins us. Uh, Ricky Bobby, uh, say, says Grace. Let me see if I can. It's really, oh, Talladega Nights. Thank you. Thank you, Rocky. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I can find that. If, I, if the, that, uh, oh, yeah, this is great. Here, we'll, we'll play this real quick. It's short, but it's, it's, uh, germane to the subject. The, uh, the scene where, uh, <laughs> where they're saying Grace and they start arguing over, uh, here it is. This is from uh, Talladega Nights. Summer's ready. Come on, y'all. I've been slaving over this for hours. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, or as our brothers to the south call you, hey Zeus, we thank you so much for this bountiful harvest of Domino's, KFC, and the always delicious Taco Bell. I just want to take time to say thank you for my family, my two beautiful Beautiful, handsome, striking sons, Walker and Texas Ranger, or TR, as we call. And, of course, my red-hot smoking wife, Carly, who is a stone-cold fox, mm. who if you were to rate her ass on 100, it would easily be a 94. Mm. Also want to thank you for my best friend and teammate, Cal Naughton Jr., who's got my back no matter what. Shake and bake. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, we also thank you for my wife's father, Chip. We hope that you can use your baby Jesus powers to heal him and his horrible leg and 
it smells terrible and the dogs are always mm. bothering with it. Mm. Dear tiny infant Jesus. Hey, we... um, you know, sweetie, Jesus did grow up. You don't always have to call him baby. It's a bit odd and off-putting to pray to a baby. Well, look, I like the Christmas Jesus best, and I'm saying grace. When you say grace, you can say it to grown-up Jesus or teenage Jesus or bearded Jesus or whoever you want. You know what I want? I want you to do this grace good so that God will let us win tomorrow. <sighs> Dear tiny Jesus, and your golden fleece diapers with your tiny little fat balled-up fist paw. He was a man. He had a beard. Look, I like the baby version the best. Do you hear me? I win the races and I get the money. Ricky, finish the damn grace. I like to picture Jesus in a tuxedo t-shirt because it says, like, I want to be formal, but I'm here to party, too. Because I like to party, so I like my Jesus to party. I like to picture Jesus as a ninja fighting off evil samurai. I like to think of Jesus, like, with giant eagle's wings yeah. and singing lead vocals for Leonard Skinner with, like, an angel band. And I'm in the front row, and I'm hammered drunk. Hey, Cal, why don't you just shut up? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Dear eight pound, six ounce, newborn infant Jesus, don't even know a word yet, just a little infant, so cuddly, mm. but still omnipotent. Mm. We just thank you for all the races I've won and the $21.2 million. Woo! 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 Ow! Love that money that I have accrued over this past season. Also due to a binding endorsement contract that stipulates I mentioned Powerade at each grace, I just want to say that Powerade is delicious, mm. and it, it cools you off on a hot summer day. And we look forward to Powerade's release of Mystic Mountain Blueberry. Mm. Thank you for all your power and your grace, dear baby God. Amen. 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 Let's dig in. That was a hell of a grace, man. Yeah, that's from uh, Talladega Nights. Which uh, Jesus do you prefer, Easy G? Uh, that's crazy. <laughs> I've never heard that before. That's really nuts. Oh, you've never seen the movie? Uh, I don't think I have. It's very funny. I highly recommend it. Talladega Nights with uh, Will Ferrell. I like Will Ferrell. It's funny. Yes, yes. And uh, what's the other guy's name? I'm trying to think of the other guy's name. The actor who's with him, John. I forget his name now. Uh, Will Ferrell. Oh, excuse me. He's been in a lot of movies. Right. One of my favorites, yeah. You're always uh, yawning, Easy G. What time do you go to bed? I always go to bed around 10 o'clock. Oh, okay. Uh, we have a call. Hi, uh, we'll have to do this quick. We're almost out of time. Hi, welcome to Matt Connerston Unleashed. Who's this? Hi, Matt. It's God. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe this. Easy G, it's God. Oh, my God. Oh, you just took his name in vain while he's on the phone? Are you nuts? Uh, I apologize for that, God. Wow. What, what can we do for you? Or more importantly, what can you do for us? Because you are God, of course. There is no such thing as taking my name in vain. I never take that personally. Oh, thank I God. I take it as a compliment. Oh, well, that's okay. Well, that's great. I mean, it does kind of help your brand, I suppose, because... It's, a, it's you know, advertising. Right. Well, you sound familiar. Well, you you know God, right? I mean, you, you talk to him all the time. Yeah. Yeah. You sound familiar. Bless, bless you both. Hey, listen, Matt, I'm willing to give you anything you want. Anything you want, if I can get a ride somewhere when you're done your radio show. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Riding with the Lord. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, I, I got to drop my car off somewhere to get repaired, and uh, and uh, uh, I'll give you anything you want if you can bring me when you're done your radio show. <laughs> well, God, you've got a deal. Yeah, it's right over a couple of blocks away uh, from your radio show. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, uh, all right, God. Uh, maybe uh, uh, you could text me the address if you uh, if you have my I'll, number, uh, Lord. I just happen to be in your neck of the woods. I'll come see you. Oh, perfect. Well, that's even better. Wow. I'll come try. You know what? There's probably not too much parking right now where you're at, so why don't I text you like you said? and let you know where I'll be. Yes. All, all right, God. <laughs> well, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look forward just, to that. I want to thank you, and no, thank may you. I bless you both. All right. We, 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 uh, bless you. We appreciate your blessings, uh, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye now. 
All right. Well, that's a surprise. That is a surprise, EZG. Yeah, sounds like something familiar. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I think we both know who it is. It's it's God. Yeah. Wow. Father Bruno is going to be jealous because I don't think God even calls his show Get to Write to With the Jesus. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we're out of time. Easy G, thank you so much, well, my friend. I made it to the end of the first time. You did. and th- Yes, this is your first time, actually, being here for the entire show. Really and you only out. you only on, yawned uh, seven or eight times. At least that many. At least that <laughs> many, yes. So, proud of you. I tried not to. But... Right, but thank you so much. No, seriously, though, it's always uh, always a pleasure. 